<laughs> all right, so I, yeah, I'm on the soccer field with my uh, my homie Victor. Victor played for Rotary AAU. Okay, and our friend Joe. There's a third guy here who doesn't want to be in it. But uh, we've been talking about palming and other stuff, and both of us can do that, but neither of us have necessarily huge hands, and there's times for those of us who don't have huge hands. Uh, Victor, can you hold this? Yeah. Okay, is the cut. Uh, I don't know if you ever throw, like, it's called a rondo fake, but it's, it's really old, it's really old. It's just all on a cuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that thing, kind of thing. The so rock the baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't have big hands, um, like, catch it, catch a cuff it, it, is it. useful, and it's something you can practice, because there's definitely times you want to do that, or time that you're dribbling, and you want to go up like oh. that, or like... Do that motion again, Travis, I missed that one. This kind of a finish, like, Ryan, Edmund, this kind of a thing, Ryan, so like, I mean, where else do you think the cuff is real, Victor? I mean, definitely the behind the back pass, of course, fake. Behind the back pass, fake. Yeah. Um, or being able to even like, you know, do a, uh, like a other behind the back, like this one. So you would flick it back over, oh, so it looks like a behind the back. Commonly, okay. What about like That's... if you're driving and you like want to use your off hand and you just like don't want the ball to get stripped, so you go from here to like you know. Okay. Where your off arm is completely occupied. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And you need well, you need to yeah, it could, well it enables you to control the ball yeah, from right. with one so, hand. Like, it's just another way to control the ball. It's a good way to get the ball from your chest to over your head. I feel. Ah. And it, it's something to be practiced. Yeah. Definitely. Oh. 